The U.S. Constitution is the most perfect document ever written by the hand of man. It has a lot of flaws. It authorizes the federal government to do a lot of things that are wrong. People who are observant and knowledgeable say it either established the criminal government we have now, or it did nothing to prevent it. Of course the government has gotten out of control. That is the fault of the voters, not the Constitution. Nothing better has ever been written for protecting the rights of ordinary people. Sure it has. L. Neil Smith wrote the Covenant of Unanimous Consent. It is light to years beyond the Constitution. Comparing the two is like comparing a witch doctor's rattle dance with a CAT scan. The Covenant of what? The Covenant of Unanimous Consent. What is that? What does it say? It says, we, the undersigned witnesses to the lesson of history, that no form of political governance may be relied upon to secure the individual rights of life, liberty, or property, now therefore establish and provide certain fundamental precepts measuring our conduct toward one another, and toward others. Individual sovereignty. First, that we shall henceforward recognize each individual to be the exclusive proprietor of his, or, her, own existence and of all products of that existence, holding no obligation binding among individuals excepting those to which they voluntarily and explicitly consent. Freedom from coercion. Second, that under no circumstances shall we acknowledge any liberty to initiate force against another person, and shall instead defend the inalienable right of individuals to resist coercion employing whatever means prove necessary in their judgment. Association and secession. Third, that we shall hold inviolable those relationships among individuals which are totally voluntary, but conversely, any relationship not thus mutually agreeable shall be considered empty and invalid. Individuality of rights. Fourth, that we shall regard rights to be neither collective nor additive in character. Two individuals shall have no more rights than one, nor shall two million nor two thousand million, nor shall any group possess rights in excess of those belonging to its individual members. Equality of liberty. Fifth, that we shall maintain these principles without respect to any person's race, nationality, gender, sexual preference, age, or system of beliefs, and hold that any entity or association, however constituted, acting to contravene them by initiation of force, or threat of same, shall have forfeited its right to exist. Supersedure. Upon unanimous consent of the members or inhabitants of any association or territory, we further stipulate that this agreement shall supersede all existing governmental documents or usages then pertinent, that such constitutions, charters, acts, laws, statutes, regulations, or ordinances contradictory or destructive to the ends which it expresses shall be null and void, and that this covenant, being the property of its author and signatories, shall not be subject to interpretation excepting in so far as it shall please them. Oh. That is a lot better. And shorter. <laughs>